I'm going to be showing you how to put these braids in. So I'll be right back. You only need five packs for to put this in your hair. Jumbo braid. Number two was the color and we used 100% Kaneka Lawn. And it cost, wait, where's the color? It cost two forty nine. Thank you for that amazing introduction, Skylar. Hello, curls. It's Yolanda Renee, and we are jumping right into this tutorial with the items that you'll need for styling. Keep on watching if you want to learn more about these box braids as well as get a coupon code for Eden Kids products. Speaking of Eden Kids, Skylar's hair is freshly washed from that product line. However, it is time to add some more moisture, so we are going to be using the Eden Kids Curly Cream. First take the hair out of the bag, it's super long, so go ahead and split that in half and then take a medium section to start your first braid. But before you start braiding, you want to go ahead and separate that section and then you're going to stagger this hair. The reason I like to stagger the hair this way is because this gives the braid a tapered look. The ends will be very tapered so they are easier to tame. Um, we are going to be curling the ends of this hair so I mean it just makes it easier to wrap it around the perm rod. Before we start braiding, we definitely want to make sure the hair is moisturized. We are going to be using this curly cream to add moisture and to serve as a styling product to tame Skylar's hair. So the braid will be nice and neat and there will be no flyaways poking out or anything. I think it's important to start this braiding process on dry hair. Um, you don't want it to be soaking wet or freshly washed because our hair, it really swells. So if our hair is swelling and the synthetic hair or Kanekalon hair is tightening around your real hair, it could cause breakage. After I finish braiding, I like to trim all the flyaway pieces and I do this braid by braid as I go just so it'll save me time in the long run. I don't want to finish braiding and then have to go and trim all of these so I do it as I finish each braid. As promised, here is a coupon code for you guys. Eden Body Works Kids has given us $5 off when you buy two or more Eden Kids products on EdenBodyWorks.com. If you need product suggestions, I highly recommend the detangling spray as well as the curly cream that we're using today in this video. These two together are amazing. As you can see, Skylar's hair is pretty much 4C hair, but when I use these products, it really defines her curls. It definitely gives her lots of moisture and it lasts for days and it gives it a nice shine. Um, so definitely try those products and don't forget to use my coupon code to get that $5 off. Now let's get into this parting action because I know you guys been peeping it. Oh my God, I need to stop trying to sound like I'm young. Anyway, so the parting is so important. I have been doing these diagonal parts to make each little section more of like a triangle rather than the, you know, box braid look, even though I'm still calling these box braids. Okay, from start to finish, I part Skylar's hair from one side to the other. I start doing diagonal parts all the way around her hair. Then I go back in with the curly cream 
and do the finger coils. To start this box braid, you're going to loop the Konecalon hair around your real hair. Your real hair will be one strand, the Konecalon hair will be two strands. You're going to do a twisting motion, so the Konecalon hair is first, and then your hair second, and the Konecalon is the third strand. Then you're going to start braiding as usual. After one or two rows, you need to then borrow hair so each of these strands will be the same width. This is going to make sure that your braid is nice and neat. After applying your moisturizer or styling cream, it's also important to detangle your hair. We are using the Felicia Leatherwood Detangling Brush. We love it. Um, and this really helps keep your hair protected and it also helps with making the braid nice and neat. As I'm finishing each braid, I like to burn where the braid stops, not the loose hair, just where the braid stops because the loose ends, we are going to be curling those with perm rods. The perm rods are going to give you a tight curl at the ends of these braids. If you wanted a looser look, you can just do twists, maybe grab like 20 of these braids and do one jumbo twist and then do that for the rest of your hair. Use rubber bands at the ends and then dip it in hot water um, or you can just leave them straight but we are going for that super curly look with the perm rods. So here's an example of how I burn the end of the braid but leave the loose hair loose. Um, this one had came unraveled so I want to show you guys. So it's not burning the loose ends, it's burning the end of the braid. Um, also, once I did the perm rods, we had more flyaways, so I went ahead and started trimming those away as well. Again, this will help with the neatness of your braid, so make sure you get those flyaways cut off. Boil hot water, and then like you have to put like the, your hair in, in the um, cup. But it's hot, but you have to be careful or you might, you might burn yourself or you might burn your kid. Because when I was sleeping, I just kept waking up for some reason. Because I'm, cause, um, I was, I was just gonna, oh, I just want to look at my hair though, because <laughs> I just came myself a bit. So you have to use a sand pillowcase so your hair won't get all messed and stuff. Okay. One, somebody behind me kept like, like touching it, and then, and then, and then the teacher told him to stop. Somebody said, "Who do you hear?" And then, um, she asked my mom. My mom said that, um, my mom said that she's not going to have to do my hair for three months, so. That's going to pass my birthday, I can already tell. <laughs> April 28th, 2010. Seven, seven. Taylor, like, Taylor's the oldest kid than me, because I'm only six. 
like a wig because at school I was doing the whoop and the nay nay and I was like, oh she well wig's about to fall off. <laughs> that was Oh my god, I can't do like it. Okay. Thank you for watching this tutorial. And if you want more, then comment down below.